<laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Mateo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad. Take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. It was during our last battle together, just a few days after our 21st birthday. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Mateo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing the story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. Besides, the Aditi were proud volunteers. We would have done anything for Italy. A church was sitting at the base of the path. Enemy troops had fortified it. I had to fight them first. soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Matteo's unit. I had to destroy it. Mm. He was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there.
Matteo and the entire Italian offensive was in danger as long as that artillery gun remained. So I had to take it down. was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. But there was no rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our plans. That was my next target. The gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself.
I take down the last man, but then I hear a noise that I will never forget. They were targeting Mateo's unit belonging, so I do the only thing I can. Me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. Those men were killed, our advance would be completely altered, and I would have lost Mateo. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it. 